Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in the Pillar Puzzle Escape. Now this, uh, well, puzzle game obviously, was developed by Paper Bunker, East Asia Soft and also published by East Asia Soft. It's available for £8.39 and can be done very easily within an hour, around 45 to sort of 50 minutes to be precise. So there's not a lot to say about the game other than we are some guy or some girl who seemingly gets trapped on an island with an infinite amount of puzzles on pillars to escape by. Hence the name Pillar Puzzle Escape, I guess. Uh, so anyway, we will have puzzles on boards, which is usually just join this colour to that colour in a certain way. Even the ones that seem very difficult are not at all really. Still, there are ones that can potentially catch you out and it's important to get them right most of, if not all of the time, to get, to get the achievements in every level for beating it with 70% accuracy. Uh, there's also a couple of collectibles on each level and then this game is done double dusted, so it is very easy. So with that being said then, now we can finally begin, and on another note, I will not be providing much in the way of commentary, although I know you love my voice. But there seems to be, you know, there's not a lot of point in every single puzzle me giving out a very monotone Grab red, now go up, left, down, left, down, left, up, right, up your mum You know, it's just, it's just no point, honestly And it's, it's genuinely very easy enough to follow I'll sort of only be chiming in where collectibles are and when we get to a new kind of puzzle type So this is the intro then, there's not a lot to do, it's just going to tell you to look right and then it's going to tell you to move left and there we go, so that's like most games then, so that's you, you can't beat it, it's job done. So move forward, you can also sprint using the right bumper, which I will be doing some of the time as well. Uh, but obviously this is just the first puzzle and it obviously tells you where to go and what to do. There's obviously only a certain way that these puzzles can be joined up. Again, like I said, a lot of them may seem complicated, but they can be quite easy anyway. So that's the intro done. Now you should be good to go in the big, wide world of trying to escape an island with lots of puzzles on the pillars. So then, there are seven chapters in the game. We only need to complete the first four to get the full 1000 and the platinum. So of course now we can get into it tidy. Again, this is just like a very, sort of an intro puzzle. Remember, try not to make many mistakes. Make sure you copy in exactly as I do on the guide. We're trying to aim for 70%. I think I may I've made up to three mistakes on one chapter and still got it So you can at least make three mistakes try not to do any more than that So anyway go forward and then before we go right uh, head on to this little ledge right here This is where the first collectible out of three is for this chapter So obviously we're not going straight ahead. So go right into this little area watch this little clip and cutscene right me are I don't know why that is such a satisfying noise when the pillar comes up anyway head left and just keep keep going straight and then we're going to see the second collectible on this box right here Turn directly around and then from where we are we're going to head straight past the pillar And there is going to be your third out of three collectible So we will get an achievement for that called Art 1 That's very, um, very intelligently named I wonder how many meetings they had to come up with that one <laughs> Probably 16 Anyway now we can just carry on with the puzzles, so again, I won't be yammering over all the puzzles here, you just copy exactly what I do, and honestly, you should have no problems. Yeah. 
So once all four are done and the box opens, head back down to where we found the first collectible and, this, and have a look at the right. There's going to be a number up there. That number is going to be completely random every single time for every person. So that's why it is important to check that number out because yours is not going to be the same as mine is. Anyway, once you get your number, input it right here and that is basically going to lift the pillar up again. The, the boner flies up. And then we got four more puzzles to do. So that's it for this level, head to the exit, do this incredibly difficult puzzle, and that is the first chapter out of four done. And again, as long as you haven't made any more than three mistakes, you should also get Misty Hill and Misty Hill Expert achievements. Right then, so as we begin chapter two, you're going to see the boner fly up in the background, the, the pillar, I've got to stop calling it that. But as we begin, head straight to your left, and that is where collectible number one is going to be. So turn around and now head towards the, where the pillar is, but head to the right first. So past these little tiny pillars, through the gap in the wall, straight on is collectible number two. So from here, turn around, and we're going to go straight past this gate, look at the left wall here, before going through the gap, that is collectible number three. And then go through the gap, have a look at the gap and have a look at the left wall. That is collectible number four. So once we are done here, now we can just carry on <laughs> with the um, pillaring, puzzling, escaping. And enjoy the sort of lovely Indian music, is it? Kind of reminds me of Indian stuffs.
So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Another box opens up, which means for us, another random number. So, once we are done from here, uh, just head back out of the exit and go directly in front of us right here and, and have a look up at these wooden beams. There's going to be two numbers on one side, and there's going to be two numbers on the other side. So, for me, this is 5116. Again, of course, it's going to be completely random for you, but just make sure to double check that so you're not getting frustrated, pissed off, and then you're going to want my blood for doing you wrong, which I never try to do. So again, for me, it's 5116, but you should have your number, input that, and then we're not done with the level because the old uh, pillar bone is going to fly up again. Such a tease.
Right then, so now that gate has opened up for us, this is where we can actually grab the final collectible as well. Try not to get stuck in there like I almost just did. So go ahead into the newly opened gate, which was obviously locked before. Head to the right before going to the puzzle, and it's going to be in this right-hand corner. Five out of five. Art number two. And to get that achievement name, that actually took 38 meetings. Jesus Christ, what's going on? Anyway, once again, do simple puzzle. That's chapter two out of four done. Right then, so as we begin chapter three, we've got four buttons to press, but these are completely random. So once again, they're gonna be completely random for you, but they do not impact the score and getting the expert achievement for this level. So you can literally press it as many times as you want, so do not panic. So it's literally a case of, you know, pressing buttons again until one goes green, pressing another button until it goes green, yeah, it, it's easy enough, completely easy enough, uh, just may take sort of up to a minute or so. So, not bad though, you know. Bye. 
So this next puzzle, again, it's not very tricky, but it can catch you out as we turn around here. So obviously what it's going to do is draw us a pattern which we've got to follow. Now, you've got to make sure you've got to copy it from exactly where it went. So if it started at the bottom, make sure to do it at the bottom. Because if you start at the top, it obviously gets you wrong, uh, makes it you are wrong, which means you may end up missing out on the 70% uh, expert achievement. So just be very careful with these types of puzzles. See, on I noise? Now, once we are done with these two, head back to the sort of middle of the area where we started. Uh, we're going to be grabbing our first collectible. Go to where the four buttons are, just past there. On the right-hand side on this little edge is collectible. Uno out of six. Ooh, no. Anyway, keep going around. Before we head on, take a look at the left uh, by these boxes. This is collectible Tuno out of Suno. Uh, six. And once again, up to Pillar Puzzles. Escape.
So these three buttons, just like the four we've done earlier, are in a completely random order. So for me, I got lucky with the first one, to be quite honest. But like I said, again, it should only take you sort of upwards to a minute. Button goes green, means you're on the right path. So go straight from here, from where we found the puzzles. Go right and then head right again. And this is where we're going to find collectible three out of six on this pile of wooden crud right here. And now with the minute, we don't have any more collectibles to get, so we can just try and get these buttons in a random order. So, like I said, for me, I head down to the right on this first one, and for me, like I said, it was green. May not be for you, so literally, <laughs> literally again, guys, it is just a case of press the button, hope for the best, and hope you don't explode. Sadly, there's no exploding in this game. Which would have made it a hell of a lot more entertaining. Two out of three chances of being wrong, and I got it completely wrong. But when we get it right, this pillar is going to appear. Once again, this uh, number on here is going to be completely random. But first of all, once we enter the gate from anywhere, we need to sort of head to the back, and we're going to find collectible four out of six. So stay on the outer edge, head towards the back, and make sure to grab collectible four out of six. Then what we need to do, this pillar is actually going to be moving. So we need to get the number off it, obviously, otherwise we're not getting through. Unless, like I said, if we had an explosion, we could explode our way through Taliban style. We're not going to do that. So there it is. So for me, it's 1633. <laughs> three, three. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. So 1633, three, uh, again, it's all going to be completely random and different for you. But when the gate opens, before we head anywhere, head through the gate and then go directly to the right. Immediately go to your right and you're going to find collectible 5 out of 6. And then what we can do now is uh, do the puzzle on the back wall. And we will be going through a portal and grabbing the last collectible before ending the chapter. So once that's done, we now have this special looking kind of bomb box. Pick it up with the A button, or the X button on PlayStation. Put it down on the uh, little portal thing right here. That is going to give us a portal to enter. So that's what we need to do. And then before you do anything, head to your left, directly to your right. Sorry, left, right, bloody hell. Directly to your right. On the wall is going to be collectible six out of six. So make sure to grab that before we finish. Obviously, if not, it's easy enough to just go through the game again. Uh, it's got chapter select. Easy enough to go through the chapter again. But we're trying to avoid that if we can. So on to chapter four out of four. I am so French.
So this is the final chapter of the game. As we start, immediately look sort of behind you and down. And that is going to be a first out of four collectibles. So again, make sure to be grabbing that. And then it's just a case of... Well, as we've been doing. Puzzles, pillaring, and escaping.
Okay, so this bit's not too difficult at all. You've just got to step on the um, pillar right there to get it up. Apologies for the edit. I moved left a little bit, by the way, so that's all I did there. So you keep moving it to the left until you hit this rock to the right side of the puzzle pillar. And then go ahead, step on the other pillar, and then shoot that up towards the left. And then we can move on. So when we've done this, head back just a little bit, take a look up, and the, the random number once again is going to be on a floating rock, because that's what laser beams do, they float rocks up in alternate universes apparently. So there we go, that's my number 1266, so make sure to get that number off the floating rock, then we're going to head on 0800001266. I think only British people are going to get that one, <laughs> even though it's the wrong number. Yeah, anyway. So we're finally done with this little area. As the gate opens then, obviously head straight and collectible two out of four to the right, tucked between the two rocks right there. That will be uh, the second out of four collectibles. Once again, this button, little mini game if you want to call it, is in a completely random order. So press and hope for the best. And don't explode!
So once we've done this puzzle, before moving on, make sure to grab the third out of four collectible, which is directly to the right hand side of it. And then we can move on, just go ahead and do the rest of the puzzles, because collectible four is going to be the opposite side of this pillar. Trust me, I do not lie. I'm sorry if I do. Oh my god, sorry, I did lie. Oh Jesus, Collectible 4 is actually, as we open the gate right here, Collectible 4 is going to be on the left-hand side just before we head to the puzzle. So that should be that. So again, make sure to grab that. That should be your final art-related achievement. The only two achievements we should get left now are for slamming through this gate and smashing through the game, completing it lovely. Slide. Slide to the up. Slide to the down. Slide to the right, up, down, left. Left, down, whatever. We have done it anyway, so that should now be that then, guys and gals. So that's chapter four out of four. That should now be the game complete. Again, if you did manage to miss one, sort of collectible or anything like that, you can use chapter select and use the timestamps in the description below. But thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope this video helped. And the few laughs that we sort of had along the way with not much commentary. Um, but if it did help, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Check me out on all my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, Patreon as well. Be super happy to, if you guys could check me out on there. It would be fantastic. Big shout out to TimG84 and my other Patreon supporters for continuing to support the channel. Very, very much appreciated. But thank you very much, guys and gals, once again for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Big love.